And North Korea has fired four ballistic missiles toward Japan, three of them landing in its exclusive economic zone. According to the South Korean military, the missiles were fired from the Tongcheng Ri region near the north's border with China. They all landed in waters off Japan's northwest coast after flying for around 1,000 kilometers. Well, Dr. Leonid Petrov is an expert on North Korea from the Australian National University, and he joins us now from Sydney. Thanks so much for joining us. It, it's not new for North Korea to be testing weapons like this, but it seems to be increasingly ominous given the tensions in the region, including with Malaysia. Why would North Korea do this now, and why provoke Japan? I don't think that North Koreans deliberately target Japan. Um, the um, direction where these uh, projectiles were launched is uh, eastward, which is the usual um, trajectory for um, medium range and even short range, sometimes uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Um, the idea is to send a signal much further than that. The uh, real um, the audience for the uh, for the North Korean uh, rocket uh, launches is across the Pacific on the other side. Uh, North Korea launched these uh, missiles just days after the beginning of major South Korean-American joint military exercises. They're regular, they happen twice a year. And North Korea also uh, launches its rocket twice a year, sometimes more often. Last year, for example, North Korea uh, launched 25 rockets and detonated two nuclear devices. And the idea and the whole philosophy of um, uh, Chuchet style um, reliance, self-reliant um, military uh, doctrine of North Korea is uh, to send the strong signal uh, worldwide. We are nuclear powered. We have the means to defend our country. And it doesn't matter what happens, uh, we're going to retaliate. And this is what Kim Jong-un, the uh, leader and the supreme uh, marshal of Korean People's Army, periodically calls the shorts and gives the opportunity for North Korean scientists to perfect their uh, ballistic uh, missile technology, even though it is under sanctions, even though it is uh, outlawed by the United Nations Security right. Council. So you say to send that message, but to send that message to what end? Can North Korea continue to survive as this pariah state, given the dynamics of the region and of the world right now? And do they ultimately want to go to war? Uh, North Korea lives in a constant uh, awaiting of war. This is the main premises of the of, of the doctrine, domestic doctrine for the regime survival. Uh, people must be consolidated around the leader. People must be constantly reminded of the unfinished uh, Korean War and the possibility of the resumption of hostilities on the Korean Peninsula. This is how the Kim's clan uh, secures its own position at the top of this uh, hierarchy pyramid in uh, North Korea. This is how the people are uh, being uh, motivated and mobilized uh, in order to work harder, in order to be constantly vigilant against potential invasion. And the Kim's regime survives because uh, it exploits this idea of uh, constant insecurity and expectation of a war. And indeed, the Korean War never finished, and the uh, hostilities on the Korean Peninsula can resume any moment. And we can see that it's just south of the demilitarized zone, the joint military exercises continue. North of the demilitarized zone, the projectiles are launched. So the Korean Peninsula remains to be a potential uh, flashpoint for the uh, region. And uh, the idea, and I believe that North Koreans um, uh, sincerely think about the uh, prospects of the concluding the Korean War, uh, signing the peace agreement with the United States, first of all, as a participant of the Korean conflict, and also trying to um, improve relations with, with the neighbors. Uh, potentially uh, neighbors in Southeast Asia and uh, Japan. Um, South Korea is not uh, in the books of North Korea as a legal state. So it is very important that uh, South and North Koreans start talking. Okay. And every time North Korea launches a rocket or detonates, uh, detonates a, a, a nuclear device, uh, it, is sh it should be interpreted as an invitation to a dialogue. Okay. Dr. Petrov, thank you so much for joining us there from Sydney.